Now, Ebb's Fleet Garden City is one of the government's flagship building projects, which will see some 15,000 new homes be built in the north of Kent. Today, one of the key pieces of infrastructure has been lifted into place to make it all happen, a 75-tonne section of bridge. It's called the Springhead Bridge. It's cost £16 million and it will give direct access from the houses to the nearby station and high-speed rail line, which the developers say is crucial for taking pressure off local roads. Well, Ian Palmer has been to watch the bridge completed. Ebb's Fleet Garden City, a flagship development for the government's housing programme. There are 1,700 homes here. By 2035, there'll be close to 17,000. Those residents will need access to the International Station. Today, the final bridge beam was put in place, marking a major milestone in the project. Well, like all good bridges, they're about making connections. I'm reliably informed that one half of this structure is in Gravesham and the other is in Dartford. But it doesn't just stop there. We have um, over 800 homes um, being built behind us, as I said, as well as the existing community. And it's going to mean a five minute walk or our new public transport system will come straight across this bridge into Ebsley International which saves a 25-minute walk, so um, for us that's incredibly important. Ebb's Fleet International Station is on the top right of your screen. From here, trains can take you to Lille, Brussels and Paris in under two hours. London is 14 minutes away. It's a big landmark for the project to get the last pair of uh, bridge beams in. An awful lot of effort has gone on to get to this stage particularly in making sure that the work we carry out, both in the design and the construction, is done in such a way that we protect the environment we're working in. 4,000 people live in Ebb's Fleet Garden City. Soon there'll be a secondary and a primary school added to the existing facilities. If this community is to be a success, the Springhead Bridge will surely be at its heart. Ian Palmer, BBC Southeast Today. Ebbsfleet.